All right, folks, in a bombshell update, a senior Ukrainian military official reportedly played a key role in sabotaging the Nord Stream gas pipeline last year, according to an investigation by two international newspapers. Now, President Zelensky was reportedly left in the dark and had no idea about this operation yet to be determined, but that's a concern in and of itself. Joining me to react former Army Reserve Captain and Arizona Congressional Candidate Ab Hamaday and retired U.S. Air Force Brigadier General Blaine Holt. Okay, Abe, uh, I'm sitting here thinking, like, a lot of us had this concern, and we were assured that was not the case. Exactly. This, You know, last year when this happened, they called us Russian propagandists trying to discredit us. But, you know, this is exactly what's happening. We had Seymour Hirsch earlier this year had that report trying to put blame on the Biden administration, actually. So, you know, what we're dealing with is information warfare. And it's quite interesting to see the newspapers who are actually spearheading this as Washington Post. It must tell you that this war isn't going as well as the Biden administration is leading the American people to believe. But what's so shocking about it is it seems confirmed by multiple people and multiple sources is that Zelensky was in the dark on it. So you're having this military operation done behind his back, and yet we're continuing to put over $100 billion into a war sure. that's completely mismanaged by President Zelensky. But you know, to have this target on Nord Stream 2, which is civilian gas that would, goes to Germany and to the Western Europe, is, is really Big concerning. Deal. And it shows you that what, what were they trying to plan, a false flag operation to drag the entire world into this war? Yeah, but General, I mean, you and I talked about this a year ago, and this was one of your concerns. Turns out you told me so. It may be. There, there's a lot going on here. And first off, I support cows from McDonald's. I do. <laughs> but, 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 I want, but I want, we we have to look at all the tension between MI6 and the CIA over this entire thing since the Seymour Hirsch article broke. We also have to look at the tensions between Zelensky and Zeluzhny right now. It seems that the British would really like to see Zeluzhny become uh, the leader of that country. And Zelensky is in real trouble. Um, there's a lot of rock throwing and blame chucking over the Nord Stream process. All I can say is we don't know what happened. I'm pretty sure Gilligan and the skipper did not do it with a six person yacht out of uh, the right. Baltic. Uh, and so so this this is going to play on, but it's going to come to Adievka. That's a pivotal battle that's undergoing right now. And if the Ukrainians lose that, it's pretty much the beginning of the end, and we are going to have to get to talks regardless. Being a part of what was originally called the underwater demolition teams, the UDT SEALs, like, I, you and I agreed on a lot about that early on, but now it looks like we were, uh, we, we had a little bit more information ahead of time. Abe, you recently wrote an op-ed, and I really like this, putting America first, it's time to suspend foreign military student training in the U.S. Yeah, why are we still doing it anyway? Well, that's why I wrote it. You know, I was I went I was deployed to Saudi Arabia after the 2019 Pensacola terrorist attack, where you know you had one Saudi pilot kill three of our service members, mm -hmm. and we put a pause on that training until we had a new enhanced security vetting guidelines implemented. But and I was there part of the process to actually put these in place. But what I'm concerned about more so, Carl, Carl, is right now you're having some of these governments espouse Hamas propaganda, and you have their own military in on our bases and who are they uh, allegiant to right now they're yeah. they're going to listen to their their queen they're going to listen to their to their governments it, it's really concerning because every year there's 5000 right. foreign military that trains the United States and over a thousand of them come from the Middle East yeah well i did some of that uh, that fid general in foreign international defense in some countries that really didn't like us that much but yet we did it anyway we give them billions of dollars 13 billion to gender studies yeah. in pakistan what the heck That's are we right. doing how many went on to actually learn our skills and then go on to lead a coup in their country in Africa? I mean, we there was a running joke in my staff colleges like, oh, I, I've met you. You're from country X and one day you'll be the leader. Be, we're going to show you how to do all of that stuff. Uh, I, do, I, I wouldn't throw the baby out with the bathwater. There are certainly uh, military training programs with very, very trusted allies where we need the interoperability. So I need Belgian F-16 pilots to understand the F-16 the way Americans do. I need the, the Dutch, the the English to all understand how to integrate uh, in a combined weapons environment. But but a free for all should never be the way it is. And what we do is we overly politicize it and we and we give up what the security goals are. And and to your point, Carl, through this entire show has been as a result of all of it, Americans are walking around with potential murderers all around them. And that's and that's the upshot. Yeah, and some of it's even being like applauded by the left like a bunch of weird. Amen. General Ab, Abe, we appreciate being here. Thanks, Good to be with you.